nobody's doing anything close to what we are doing. Utah's known for having the, you know, the greatest snow on Earth, so it makes sense that we'd have the greatest slush on Earth. It starts with having a product that tastes amazing. I mean, if it doesn't taste good, what are you managing? Brazzle was founded on the premise that there's a pain in the market that needed to be solved. As a convenience store owner, if I want to get into this category, I'm going to buy the slush concentrate from one person. I'm going to get the machine from another company. And I'm going to get the service contracted through a service company. The genesis of the Frazzle idea was, can we pull all these together into one program to let the retailer hit the easy button on winning in slush? If we want to survive and thrive with this very risky business model, we actually have to do it better than anyone else. Okay, so you don't know if you're making money in the category right now. We can solve that. Let's actually get, get real-time visibility into all of your machines across all your stores. Which stores have machines? Are they on, working in full? The way that our business model is designed is when they're not making money, we're not making money. We've had instances where we didn't know that the machine wasn't fixed and we've had a really upset customer from corporate headquarters who walks into that store often and sees that, hey, something's wrong with the Frazzle program. That must be the case for everything in all my stores. Well, now that we have IoT devices there, we don't really hear about that anymore. Let's go heavy on the data analytics. Let's, let's build technology into the machine so we can track how it's doing. Let's have dashboards to help the retailers see instantly what's going on in this category. Are they winning? And what are the things that are going to drive incremental sales right now? Does the technology exist in the market? Looked, 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 no, it doesn't. So we said, okay, well then we have to build it ourselves. Once we have a solution, now we need to connect it to the internet. So we ultimately chose Verizon. Verizon was in lockstep with us throughout that process to make that happen. Our needs were met by both the team's responsiveness to the vision and the connectivity of the network and then the cost of being able to do so. ThingSpace has been helpful. If you can imagine the United States like a game board and it's got little chess pieces just placed all over the place, how do you get your arms around knowing what is happening with your equipment everywhere? You know, from a ThingSpace perspective, I'm activating devices that were installed or I'm, you know, validating locations that we're getting from the board. And then our API is connected so we can get, you know, real time information. We base all of our decisions based off data. What can we do with the equipment that we have sitting on countertops in 15, 16,000 locations? And we thought we'd turn them into connected devices and that way we'd have a better pulse on what's actually happening inside these stores. The IoT boards come in a box that has everything that you need to retrofit it. It has the temperature sensor that attaches to the piping for the compressor. It has the cables to plug into the power of the machine. Our team can get that installed in probably 10, 15 minutes a machine. They plow through these things. And it can tell us whether or not uh, somebody's cleaned their filter. We know if the product is full or not. We know if the machine is plugged in. If it's not plugged in, we know the health of the compressor, which is a key component of freezing the product inside of the machine. So we're able to see thousands of these and say, all right, these are the issues that we can address. Add them all up, and you're talking about a significant gain. I mean, we're looking at uh, 50 to 100% gain from previous programs of converting to Frazzle. Just the aggregation of marginal gains. So we don't just talk about technology, we invest an insane amount of money every year to do that, but we see the impact it has on business. For any company to survive today, if you don't see yourself as a software company, you won't be around very long. Yeah, I mean, if you could do it for a slushy company, then what industry wouldn't be able to use it? That's called innovation. And if you're not part of it, then you're gonna get left behind.